I don't want to hear a word. All right. Not a word. Yes, I am playing <laughs> Call of Duty Vanguard in the year 2024. Yes, it was a conscious decision. No, I am not okay, all right? <laughs> and there is a good reason as to why we are playing Vanguard today, and it's simply down to this, the double barrel shotgun. Now I know there are double barrel shotguns on plenty of other games, you know, like Black Ops 1 has them, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, blah, 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 blah. But none of them are like true double barrel shotguns. You know, like Farmer's Gun, 24 Longbow, I'm sure like one of you will get that reference. Like none of them are like proper tried and true double barrel shotguns, you know, like both barrels side by side, like classic looking double barrels. The gun that I absolutely adore, by the way, in Zombies. I just kind of decided, you know what? Today's the day. I've been wanting to do around 50 for absolutely ages, like literally months. I uh, never got around to it. I also want to do a dual barrel on every game video as well. Also, we wanted to do that for months. Never got around to it. But I thought today is the day. We're going to start. We're going to do the round 50. And unfortunately, this version of the dual barrel isn't really uh, in very many Call of Duties. It's in World at War. It's in Black Ops 1. <laughs> and it's in Vanguard. I'm sure I'm probably misremembering it's in like another game somewhere else. But uh, yeah, these are like they're the three games. Don't want to play World at War. It's 20, it's 2024. I'm done with that game. Don't really want to play Black Ops 1 for the same reason. So that leaves me with Vanguard, I guess. And uh, yeah, I did actually reinstall the entire game just for this gun. So uh, yeah, that is how much I like the double barrel. <laughs> it is by far and above the king of all guns for me. I absolutely love this thing. I don't know why, you know, not really like a big... <laughs> gun fan in real life, but in video games, this thing, adore it. <laughs> Don't know why, I just do. Also, just realized that uh, I didn't have gameplay recorded, so uh, whoops for missing the opening like 10 seconds, 10 minutes, sorry, of this video. But, oh well. <laughs> we have audio now. My bad. I also haven't really had a chance to talk about this, uh, considering this is actually the first video I'm recording since said thing. I just want to say a huge thank you to all the people that uh, showed up and showed some love on the first Platinum video over on the second channel, which, by the way, you should go subscribe to if you haven't already. <laughs> um, <laughs> just saying. But, like, that video, like, did so much better than I ever thought it would. Like, it's not sitting on, like, tons and tons and tons of views, but, like, the reaction to it, like, the comments, like, all the love people showed it in the comments was just, like, I, like, oh, I'm so... My heart is very full, basically. You know, like... I can tell you guys enjoyed watching that video as much as I enjoyed putting it all together. And I just, I couldn't, I couldn't be thankful. I could not be more thankful, sorry. Like, it's just, <laughs> you know, like, I just thank you, you know. Just, it's so good. Um, the second video is already underway. Hopefully should have, like, the, the recording of it done by the end of this week. It's definitely a bit more of a familiar game. Um, no spoilers, but uh, definitely more of a familiar game, which I think you're gonna like. Like I said, thank you. It's so great to see people just enjoying the content, no matter what I put out. And uh, big, big thankful for that, you know. And still, once again, also big thankful for this gun existing, because my god, I love it. <laughs> so much. Although, I would also really love to have some speed caller with it, because these reloads are not it. <laughs> like, at all. But, do I go for perks, or do I go to pack a punch? Mm, decisions. What do I do? I do not know. Because it's not like it's guaranteed where speed's going to spawn. Is it guarantee you this is going to give me stamina? I took, oh, it did give me speed. That took way too long as well. I was really expecting uh, the perk machine to like drop way sooner <laughs> than it actually did. Oh my god, this reload is still so slow. Also, I completely forgot it's tiered perks in this game. God, it's such a stupid idea. Oh, I hate that. Oh my god, I'm going to die. Oh my god, I'm going to die. No, I'm not. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> Get me out of this room. Jesus Christ. All right. Um, it is actually wild going back to this game after not playing it in, I want to say, like, minimum six months. Not a game I loved when it was out and about, you know, and it was the main Call of Duty. Like, I really... Actually, that's a lie. I really liked this game from a, honestly, campaign. I thought it was kind of good. Uh, multiplayer also was quite a big fan of that. I actually played a lot of this game's multiplayer on the on the year it was out. Zombies, obviously, uh, we don't talk about it very often because it did stink. 
it did stink. Up until, very important piece I should add, up until this map came out. Because this map, this gameplay, this game, I'm going to say it, it's top notch. There, I said it. I think, I think, listen, I think if this whole game was like this, it'd be a banger. I'm just saying it. <laughs> I'm just saying it. You know, I genuinely do think, ooh, I genuinely do think if they just focused on round base the entire year with Vanguard Zombies, and they just gave us a game like this, would have been a banger of a year. Straight up. <laughs> I just, I think like the, um, oh god, I completely forgot as well, it's manual pack a bunch of, ugh, I hate that. I genuinely just think the, uh, the, the objective based stuff they did, the Anfang, Terramel Addicta, all that bullshit <laughs> basically just ruined this game's image for the entire year. Which, to be honest, very deserved because they were awful, absolutely awful projects. And I sincerely hope they learn their lesson from that and they never go back to it. I never want that type of like gameplay in zombies ever again. MWZ, perfectly fine with it because I do think that has a lot of really good foundations there. It's just a shame once again, the content stinks, but Vanguard zombies, oh my God. Never again, please, because that was truly a miserable, miserable experience. When Shinonuma came out, it was great because like I said from the start, you know, I thought Vanguard has always had very, very good gameplay. Like, the actual act of just spawning in, killing zombies, feels great. The guns feel great, the game feels great, like, it looks great, it sounds great. It was just the content was so incredibly piss poor. You know, like, it was, like, the single worst content they could have provided, which just sucked, because it had all this really, really good stuff and the foundations, but then the actual stuff that, you know, people care about. Ooh, dead shot, straight off the rip, god damn. My luck is in today. Um... But like I said, the content and other stuff people actually care about was just so incredibly pathetic. And it just ruined this game. But like I said, you know, I do think this game is very enjoyable on this map. Now, don't get me wrong. You know, like I couldn't sit here and play this game every single day because like it's only playable on this map. I mean, I guess there is also the round based version of Terra Mel Addictor. I can't remember what the, the Archon, I think it's called. But that map is ass. All right, that map is so bad. <laughs> like, I don't get how they took, like, several major steps forward with this map in Shinonuma when they, after they took that, like, long, like, four or five month break. And then they came back and were like, hey, by the way, we've taken a map we've already re released and we've just changed the, uh, the style of gameplay on it. It's not objective based anymore, it's round based. <laughs> how about that? We took six months fully, fully redeveloping and remaking Shinonuma, only to then drop another stinker straight after it. I, I just, I don't get how that uh, whole thing played out, but uh, it did. <laughs> Will not lie though, very thankful for this map because this map bangs. Okay, I know I memed on stamina before, but I actually would kind of like to get it now. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, I'm not all... This bad. Oh, this bad. Oh, this bad. I don't want to be in the water at the beginning of a round. It's only round 10 and I'm panicking. When you don't play a game for so long, like, you know, a Call of Duty Zombies game, uh, especially a round-based version of it, I always tend to forget, like, how to gauge the difficulty on these games. Because this game is, is very, very similar to Cold War. In, like, the regards of, like, in Cold War, you know, when you hit, like, I think it's round 55, I think it is, the zombies become super sprinters, right? They get more health. No, they don't get more health. They, they basically become super sprinters, you know, they, de they deal more damage is what I meant to say. They don't get more health. But that game becomes a lot harder from like around 55 onwards, right? It's kind of a bit insane. This game does the exact same thing, <laughs> but 20 rounds sooner. Like it all starts kicking off at like round 35 or something. Also, yet again, great idea by the way. But I always forget just how like insane this game can get, especially on this map and how quickly it can get pretty mad, right? I never know how to gauge the difficulty, like, off the rip. What have we got? Dead accurate. Unholy ground is actually very good. Um, we'll take it. Also, I've said it time and time again, Covenant system, single-handedly, the best thing they've ever added to zombies. Don't care, we'll fight anybody. Tooth and nail, all right? Such a good, such a good system. Really, really hope they bring it back one day, even though I know for a fact they never will. But I really hope they do. Like, I, I mentioned it, like, m like, probably about a year ago, actually, in a video. But, like, I'm a huge fan of, like, MMO RPG style games where you've got skill trees and, like, you can build out a character to perform in the, the way you want it to. And, like, being able to do that in Zombies, oh my god, it's so good. Like, oh, it's so good. Like, if you want, like, if you want to focus on, like, Cryo Freeze, you can. Because you can put Cryo Freeze on your gun, you can use Frost Blast. 
You can then get Covenants that, like, integrate with Cryo. You know, you your effects will last longer. You'll deal more damage to zombies affected by Cryo Freeze. Uh, you'll deal more Cryo Freeze damage and whatever. Like, it's so good, right? Being able to do all this stuff. Don't understand why they didn't bring that back for MWZ or something along the lines. Like, let me play the game in a more personal manner. You know, let me, let me build out a character the way I want to play it. Because it's just such a good idea. I don't get how it took them. Ooh, monkey ball. I don't get how it took them so long to develop an idea like that into Call of Duty Zombies. Because it makes so much sense. It makes, like, it's, it's such a good, like, uh, groundwork or, like, foundation even, sorry, for some kind of MMORPG style, like, um, what's the word? Like, roguelike kind of game, if you will. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My brain is just picking up all the great ideas. Imagine a roguelike Call of Duty Zombies. Oh, <laughs> oh, someone signed me up. I would absolutely- I would be all over that. All over that. That would be so good. Oh, no, the goblins who, like, only like round based. Like, no! <laughs> Don't you change my game! Well, guess what, Sonny Jim? Round based is old and dead and boring. I want new and fun. One thing I will never understand, though, about the zombies community is how feral people get over the idea of change in this game. Like, I, for one, love the idea of change love it i embrace it obviously i understand change can be scary i've said it so many times if zombies stuck to the exact same formula it had done since world at war up till now they probably would have sacked off zombies and the black ops 4. you know probably not even i don't even think it would have made it that far i think they would have sacked it off probably end of black ops 3 black ops 2 maybe if it was the exact same formula you know where it's literally just here's a map here's a couple of characters here's a couple of perks here's an easter egg go and do it all i genuinely don't think zombies would have survived past 2015 because like there's just no innovation there right you can't do the same thing over and over and over again and just expect people to keep on playing it like you can't sit here and be like oh i was here for the story like really where are you <laughs> like where are you really like i know six people who actually understand and care for the call of duty zombie story and i'm not one of them <laughs> like i don't even think that i don't even think the story writers knew what they were doing with zombies you know when they were doing it. They were just like pulling up ideas from all over the place, retconning so much. Oh my God. The, the amount of stuff they retconned in zombies, by the way, is ridiculous. Like I genuinely just think for the story in this game, they were just <laughs> pulling out their ass and just going with, ooh, legendary unholy ground. Don't mind if I do. That's actually a huge pickle for round 15. Would have liked a legendary dead shot though. I'm not realizing this video, or these opening 15 rounds for this video is just me bullying people. <laughs> just being involved in zombies. And I'm not sorry. I'm not. I'm really not. <laughs> it's long overdue. Oh, I forgot they spawn. Also, by the way, great enemy. Would absolutely love the Zabalas to come back. Don't have a clue how they'd fit in to like the, the lore and whatever they decide to go with in the future. Because once again, ooh, armor. <laughs> this game is seemingly being retconned and all of like the, the demons and whatever. Don't think we're ever going to see this again, which is unfortunate. All right, round 16. I'm going to finally max myself out. Speed Cola. Got round 16. I have three perks. <laughs> Two of them are level one. One of them is maxed out. Actually, is it maxed out? I don't know if it is. I swear it goes up to tier five, right? Yeah. No, it does. It maxed. Okay, so it's tier four for perks. I thought it was tier five. I was about to say, God damn, how, how much more expensive does it get? God, this shotgun is just so good. <laughs> like, this is just, like, a fully base standard, like, shotgun as well. There's no attachments on this other than, like, I think uh, a muzzle thing to give it, like, a tighter pellet spread. Other than that, no attachments on it, and it's just so good. It's just so good. I love this thing. Although, to be fair, like, a lot of the guns in this game are actually very good. Like, I've done quite a few round 50s, I think, with guns in this game. MP40. We've done STG. I remember that. That was a fun time because that gun was nuts. I believe we did PPSH, I think, maybe. Uh, I think there was also another shotgun or two. I think I've done Einhorn. I think I did the combat shotgun as well. I think the Einhorn might arguably be the most overrated gun we've ever had in Zombies. Like, I think people just saw one half-decent gun in this game and then gravitated towards it and never used anything else. Because the combat shotgun was right there all along. And it's ten times the weapon. I mean, hell, this door barrel was there all along, and it's ten times the weapon. Like, yeah, right, you don't get as much ammo. You only get six rounds per magazine, if you will. All right, give me that. Um, Where are the other perk spawns? Oh, my God, they're on the other side of the map. I don't want to go over there, because I'm going to die. All right, I need to... How many hearts do I have? I have... How many... Where do I see... I have two hearts. 
None of those are good. What was I going to do? Oh, I was going to try and upgrade my frost blast thing as well. Because I need to open up the hut. And I need to open up uh, where the tree thing is to start the Easter egg. I need to open up those two areas. Because that's where the final two perks are. Because I haven't even got like the, the definitely not fake deadshot dead shot perk yet. Which is stupidly OP in this game. And will probably make this gun a one shot until round 50. That's actually another thing as well. I was so happy with the way they did difficulty in this game. Because like I said, like it's round, it's round 18, right? I've already got sprinters and full hordes of zombies like chasing me, like running me down and whatever, being a nuisance. But like I'm taking them down with ease, right? Like they're going down so easily. Oh, my ammo is also going down so easily. Like I feel like they did difficulty in this game in such a good way where it was like instead of making the zombies ridiculously hard to kill we're just gonna have you completely overwhelmed by zombies for a full round like the second you kill a zombie another one spawns and it's right there alongside you like within literal seconds a bit like how uh, black ops 2 did it you know like where you'd kill a zombie and you'd have another one immediately spawn and it would be like right there in the fight within like two seconds of it like you know one zombie dying one zombie spawning but obviously in black ops 2 the health system was just so dumb because it's like <laughs> You know, if you're trying to get to round 50 and you've got to fight a zombie that's got like, I don't know, what is it, like 16,000 health or something ridiculous? Black Ops 2 round 50, probably inwards of like 40,000, 50,000 health. Maybe even more. Probably close to like 60, 70,000 if we're being honest. I know there's the, the, the website that tells you the health uh, values of zombies on what round and whatever. But I don't have it up right now because I'm a bit busy. But like, I just love the way the zombies in this game are kind of weak. Like, to, like, their health. They don't have a lot of health. But, like, they deal pretty decent damage. There's loads of them. Like, they crowd you constantly. You've got tons of boss zombies. I know people hate him. I do as well. But the Sturmkrieger, the guy who shoots at you. Also, just a really good addition. Because, like, it does make the game a bit harder. Like, I just think difficulty is perfect in this game. Like, if they had a more easily accessible, um, what's it called? Rampage inducer? Which, I know there's, like, an easter egg to do it and whatever on the map, but I always forget how to do it. I know you gotta shoot, like, the lanterns or whatever it is around spawn. But, like I said, always forget how to do it. Oh, drop me a gun! An afterburner. Like, if they had a more easily accessible, um, rampage inducer, I just think the difficulty in this game would have been, you know, perfect. But, I mean, like I said, once round 35 hits and we do get that kind of more intense gameplay from the zombies i do genuinely think this game's great <laughs> like th this map specifically this map i just want to make that thing very blatantly clear only when it comes to this map <laughs> everything else in this game sucks <laughs> gotta make that like abundantly clear you know i'm also starting to really regret my decision coming down here to get whatever this perk is because i am now realizing i have made a big silly mistake and i don't know oh no i do know where i can buy ammo it's right here thank god thank god as well like ammo buys in this game ammo refills oh my god he's here i just spoke him into existence so thankful a max ammos and a ammo refills refill the magazine rather than just refilling the reserves in this game i think i probably would have died about three times over already because of the lack of bullets i've had where have we got oh my god it's dead shot finally and i think because i've got plenty of cheddar i should be able to max this out i can perfect also wouldn't mind if i could get critical experience or expertise and Deadshot at purple tier. Still not there. Pain. All right, actually, with Unholy Ground and whatever I've got running, two and a half thousand damage already. <laughs> I'm already in, like, one-shot territory for, like, easily until, like, round 40-something. Oh, I'm having fun and I don't like it. <laughs> I've got to uninstall this game immediately after recording this video so I know I don't come back to it on the regular. Oi, there we go. Nice little upgrade right there. And, actually, speaking of upgrades... Never mind, I cost 30,000 points. I thought it was 15. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's expensive. <laughs> Ooh, a legendary Ogre Ray Gun. Yeah, I'm taking that. Gun sucks in this game. <laughs> like it does in every single game, let's be honest. Because the Ray Gun is a uh, big old smelly. Which is unfortunate, by the way. I actually also saw a leak the other day that the Ray Gun is coming back for Gulf War. Yawn. Hopefully, this time, they actually make it worth using. Like, I'm really hoping they give us, like, Cold War era Raygun pre-nerf. You know, like, launch day Raygun on Cold War. So good. Just give us that throughout the year. Why not? It's a wonder weapon. It should be powerful. Like, I don't get why they had to nerf that thing into the ground. <laughs> 
It becomes good for the first time in its existence. And they were just like, yeah, enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't, we can't be doing this. Especially considering as well, like, the ray gun, like, the Mark 1 ray gun is, like, the staple of Call of Duty Zombies. You know, like, it's the wonder weapon, like, everyone knows. Like, you think of Call of Duty Zombies, people immediately think of the ray gun. It's the most iconic gun in this game. Like, it just, it is. <laughs> I don't, why does it suck? Why do they hate it? Why do they never make it half decent? Makes no sense to me. So please, this is, you know, from me to you, Treyarch, don't make it shit and go for <laughs> I'm begging you. Just add an extra zero to the end of its damage multiplier, please. I actually hate the fact that I'm, like, really, really, really enjoying my time playing this right now. Like, I was fully expecting, like, as you probably noticed from the, the intro, for this to be a slog fest and for me to absolutely hate it. I don't. <laughs> I really don't. I'm having more fun playing this than I ever thought I possibly ever could have. Am I, am I a Vanguard? Am I a Vanguard zombie sympathizer? <laughs> I don't like that. Actually, no, I will. I will be a Vanguard zombie sympathizer. Only when this map comes into question, though. <laughs> Any other time, I'm right there along you. I hate this thing. But when this map's involved, I'll defend it till the day I die. But that is finally 30,000 points, meaning final upgrade. Also, by far, the worst camo they could have ever possibly given us. It looks so goddamn awful. I know it's supposed to be lightning. It looks so bad. Is it wrong for me to say that I think this is the most fun I've had doing around 50 in a very long time? Is that wrong? <laughs> should I feel bad? I feel like I should feel bad, but I am, <laughs> genuinely. Oh, I'm having, a, I'm having a good time. I'm having a good day. I've not even got stamina up. I've not even got like all my perks and whatever. It's around 27. <laughs> I don't feel like I don't need them. All right, now cuts me dying on round 36. Um, <laughs> don't do that because I ain't dying. <laughs> oh, all right, now cuts me dying. <laughs> I went down. I was joking before when I said about cutting to when I died. I also completely forgot I have a shock uh, ray gun in my inventory. Did not realize I had such a little amount of armor. Oh, that's annoying. I've just bought all my perks <laughs> and then gone down immediately afterwards. Now I gotta go buy them all again. <sighs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Great. Love that for me. I press Q by accident and there's no way of cancelling the reload of the animation of throwing the monkey bomb, apparently. All because I tried to buy some goddamn armor. That's two awful downs I've taken in the matter of five rounds. I'm just here minding my own business. Just spent 37,000 points again on my packs back, and now I've got to do it all over again. Oh, I just saw that <laughs> uh, self revive drop. That's how I got my last one as well. Thank you. Oh my god, it fell. it's in the wall! I hate this game. I take back every nice thing that I've said about this game over the last hour and it just robbed me of my goddamn self revive it's in the wall it's in the wall you better give me this thank you no i can't even pick it up <gasps> i hate this game all right round 40 it's a boss round perfect you're gonna give me not what i want pain all right i'm not gonna use this time to go get my perks back we're not gonna die for another 10 rounds we're gonna hit this round 50 and we're all gonna go home happy that shot me I didn't get dead shot, but I got critical blow, which means I should no longer have any ammo problems. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I just have unlimited ammo now, basically. This is inc oh, this is perfect. <laughs> no more need to reload. One thing I will say that I absolutely hate about this game is the fact that they call max ammo magical reload. <laughs> you know, like, it's just so bad. No one, no one likes that. <laughs> Everyone loves being able to blast off 20 rounds with a little bar shotgun, though. I will say, though, <laughs> Deathblow might be incredibly OP, but it does lag. Like, there will be times where, like, the game just doesn't register. The fact that you've got, like, a critical kill, so it needs to reload your gun. <laughs> And you'll often find there'll be instances where you just don't fire your gun for like two seconds. And it's quite frustrating. Not gonna lie. But then there are times where you can just do this and it's great. <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> so dumb, bro. I love it. Around 49 as well. Jesus. Oh, I do have a self-revive. What? Maybe it didn't glitch out and I did actually pick it up when it was in the wall. Crazy. I really thought for a second that was dead shot then. I saw dead and was like, oh my god. <laughs> you son of a bitch. You give it to me the round before 50. It wasn't dead shot. <laughs> Although the real 
The real meme is when it gives it to me next round and I get really annoyed. The fact as well, though, this shotgun still very comfortably one-shotting zombies at round 49. You know, <laughs> unlimited ammo, basically. Blasting away. Oh my god, no armor, though, so almost dying. It's just great. Like, it's just great. I absolutely love the Covenant system in this game. Sincerely, one of the best things they've ever given us in Zombies, and I really do hope it comes back. Because without it, I don't think the last 10 rounds or so would have been as fun as what they have been. But with it, I just get to do that, and there is a big smile on my face. <laughs> and I believe this is right near the end of the round. It is. Did I just get a magazine unlock for this gun somehow? The hell? And that is it. Round 50. With the, the double barrel. God, that feels good. Probably the most enjoyable round 50 I've done in a long, long time. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Genuinely enjoyed that from start to finish such a fun time and now i get to try and exfil which is not going to be such a fun time because i always forget where oh i've got to kill zombies forgot about that i just thought you had to get to the exfil oh god oh that's a zavala oh my god not a zavala as a zavala a zavala i don't know what they're called <laughs> that's a dead guy though that's a live where the hell are all my zombies like hello are they all just sticking around inside the the cabin. Oh dear, this is bad. Oh, this is really bad. I got a minute to kill 20 zombies. Why are they all just here? Oh, this is really bad. Oh, I'm not gonna exfil. This is- it's game over. It's over. I ain't leaving. I screwed up somehow. I broke something. Oh, I need to kill just a handful more zombies. Na -na 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 -na. Na -na -na -na. I think the rift opens up down here though. Yep, open, please. No, where's the portal? Oh my god. Right, stamina up, you have to come in clutch. Pistol out as well. I can make it, 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 I can make it. I can't make it, I can make it, I can make it. I will make it, I will not make it. Oh my god, get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out. I'm not gonna make it, I'm being pushed out of the Xville. I got pushed out of the Xville. I hate this game. After all of that, the zombies decide, hey, we're not gonna follow you, we're just gonna stand around the cabin. So you're going to waste all this time. You're then going to get the kills with 20 seconds to spare. You're going to make it to the Xville. And then we're just going to push you out of it. What the fuck is that about? <laughs> what What is that all about? Oh my god, I hate this game. Love the door barrel though, and I will count that as a successful round 50. And <laughs> if you have enjoyed this video, please drop a like and all the other good stuffs. My name has been Satch, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.